Hello and welcome to my showcase video for my trading hall design variation bedrock edition. I just want to show you and explain how this works but I won't make a block by block tutorial for this. Even though I really liked the challenge to make it work in the bedrock edition it just feels kinda weird for me since redstone here is really different to the java redstone. Please don't expect more videos especially designed for bedrock edition. With that being said, let's get started. First of all, let me show you that this works in the Bedrock Edition. So again, we press a button, the villager gets sent off into a chamber, gets transformed into a zombie, this gets detected, he gets sent back up after this, right there, gets a splash potion of weakness and comes back right to the place where he came from. And this is how the whole thing looks in the Bedrock Edition. As you can see, the transformation chamber got a little bit bigger since I had to rework it completely. Also, I reworked the whole redstone in the background. But let me show you how this works first. So this is a slice of the trading hall where I want to explain you how the redstone works. First of all, the button press. The button press activates the redstone dust down below. This depowers the torch and the piston gets retracted. And that is actually everything this button does. The locking and the sorting back part gets processed in the redstone behind. So what does this do? First of all, this observer observes the piston. The retraction gets noticed by this observer. He sends a signal into this block triggering this dropper. The dropper spits out his block into this dropper. Since there's now an item in this dropper, the comparator gives out a redstone signal, triggering this block. This does two things. First of all, this redstone dust gets powered, triggering this redstone line, going back to here, into this target block. This depowers the torch, and pow depowers this redstone line. So with this redstone line depowered, this torch get powered. This torch is what keeps those both of those pistons powered. So this lower part in this redstone line with this repeater is our locking mechanism, preventing the buttons from being pressed again. Now to the upper part. As I said, the comparator now powers this block. This triggers the torch tower and gives a signal out on this redstone dust here above. And this redstone dust powers now the rail, causing it to curve to the other direction. So now the villager will be get back right to the cell where he came from. Now the only thing left to do is resetting the system. We do this by powering this piston with the minecart when the villager comes back. This gets observed by this observer. This observer observes this observer <laughs> and gives out a signal into this block, powering this dropper which spits out his item back into the first dropper. Now we don't have any item left in this dropper, so the comparator won't give an output and that is how we reset the whole system. Let's watch it one more time. So piston retracts, item gets dispensed into this uh, dropper, giving out a signal here, turning the rail up above, also powering the line down here, depowering this line, this torch is now active and we can't retract the pistons anymore with the buttons. At some point the villager will come back from this rail, driving here around, triggering this piston and resetting the whole thing. A quick side note about rails and them being powered. Let me show you this. So rails are directional. What does this mean? So no matter how you have placed the rails, like in this way, it curves this way and not over there. If they get powered, they change state and when they are get they're getting depowered, they change it again. So this is the result you have. No matter how you have placed them, once they get powered and unpowered, this is how they are. 
you always have to look out for this when building this trading hall. So here, the powered state would be the one I initially built, the deep powered state isn't. But on this side, it is. Also on this side. Just check this before you build your trading hall. So now to the part that gave me the biggest challenge on this contraption, the transformation chamber. In the Java edition, I just had this rail powered and when the villager enters it gets depowered. But this doesn't work in the bedrock edition, since the observer is just too slow. So how to fix this problem? Let me show you. As you can see, I decided to not power this powered rail, so when the villager enters, he just stops there. The string gets triggered from the villager and the observer detects that. He now gives a one tick pulse into this repeater. This activates this T flip flop. That's a pretty classic design that just spits out one item from the upper dropper into the hopper that gets sent down into this dropper. It now stays here and gives out a signal to this comparator. This comparator now powers this block and giving a signal into this redstone dust, which gets stronger from this repeater and sent down into this torch, which powers this sticky piston moving this rail over to this observer. And here we do the same thing with the dropper T flip-flop making it to a constant signal powering the rail. So now we wait until the villager gets transformed. This again gets detected from the string, removing the item from this dropper so we don't have a signal anymore here. The piston retracts and the observer detects that. Also removing the item here, which depowers the rail, resetting it. But we have a repeater here to make the signal a little bit longer so the villager can get out before the powered rail gets depowered. So let's watch this one more time so we can see what's happening. When the villager gets sent down, here we can see the detection, remove the item, item gets moved there, villager gets transformed and we reverse everything again. Some side notes. I'm pretty sure this isn't the smallest contraption that you can make this happen with, but I just can't come up with something different. So if you have a better idea, please let me know. I'm always interested in good ideas. I haven't made an auto brewer for this contraption since there are already designs in the Bedrock Edition for auto brewers and I don't just want to copy one. If you want one, just look that up, there are some tutorials on YouTube you will find some. And finally, I built this contraption like this, so the villager gets sent down in this direction, and it works. So I rotated it by 90 degree, like this, and tested it also, and it just works fine. So directionality is not a problem for this contraption. And that's it for this redstone video. Thank you very much for the positive feedback I get from all of you, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more redstone videos or the casual let's play from the Ostercrack server, consider subscribing. And bye bye!